Good kitten internet. I'm just loading back up because, oh boy, did I mess up that last recording. I was actually muted for about three minutes of recording straight for absolutely no reason. Plus, I messed a bunch of other things. Let's just go ahead and get back to where we were. So the first thing we're going to do is bring out Cecilia. So this is something that I meant to do last time and ran out of time and also forgot. But I had mentioned that in the Temple of Memory, there was a door that uh, was not aligned properly. Uh, there was a door that could be opened up with a teardrop. There was a teardrop door. So I'm gonna go do that right now, even though this is really early on the game to do this. And I had just done this, so I actually know what's behind it off the top of my head. Go away. Hmm? Um, the game just locked up. That's not good. Oh no, I hope my PS2 isn't dying. Hmm. It's really not good. Hold on a moment. Let me try opening and closing the tray. Uh, because, yes, I am using the real disc. Um, I mean, I just did this. Why is it locked up? So, this is my actual Wild Arms disc. This is the one that I've had since... 1996. There's a couple of scuff marks on it. You can even see the reflection of my screen. Um, a couple of scuff marks on it, but it doesn't look bad or anything. Just wipe it off, then put it back in. Maybe I'll restart the video yet again. Uh, actually, I kind of want to show this one, unless if it's truly frozen and locked up and dead, that would be bad. Hmm. There are a couple of hairline scratches as I throw the disc around. Good job, me. But nothing bad out of the ordinary. Hmm. Well, put the disc back in. I'm thinking it's frozen. Let's go ahead and reset it. Oh, it's hard locked. That's not a good sign. That's a really bad sign, in fact. All right, well, rebooting the PS2, I guess. Let's hope that my PS2 didn't just die, because that would suck. And I'd want to buy a new PS2. Well, I suppose this is one way to prove that I'm using a real PS2. <sighs> so anyway, uh, while I'm waiting, uh, sorry for the green switches. It's for um, switching back and forth between screen resolutions. Um, should explain that I have a slightly new streaming setup. So before, I was using... My primary laptop, which is right here. You can see all the fingerprints on it. It shows fingerprints so easily. I need to buy a uh, cover for it. Anyway, um... Okay, I have audio. Just wanted to make sure. Um... What was I saying? So, I was having a lot of issues. Uh, you saw the first video where it didn't start properly or it was dropping frames constantly and I had to re-record parts of it and it was just a mess. Um, recording at 2997 frames per second, so that's 29.97 frames per second. Um, believe it or not, I'm actually using the laptop screen rather than the TV to watch this because when I'm changing screen resolutions, it's much faster. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and start this over again. Um, when I was recording at 1080p, 2997 frames per second, uh, the problem was that I was using at about 45 to 50% CPU utilization, which is a little ridiculous. Um, that has integrated graphics, so I decided to switch to my old laptop. 
That's actually what I'm streaming off of right now. My old laptop is roughly the same CPU power. It's plus or minus a little bit, depending on particular workloads, and that's a long story. But more importantly, all right, let's see if Spark's gonna lock it up again. Um, more importantly, well, didn't lock up this time. Uh, it has an integrated, or it's, it has discrete graphics. It's not very good discrete graphics, but it's certainly enough to record videos off of. So I'm at about three to three and a half percent CPU utilization now at the same 1080p, 29.7 settings. Um, in fact, I actually exported from my laptop over to here. And my issues with my old laptop have nothing to do with, you know, its performance or stability. It had to do with the fact that I couldn't stand touching the keyboard half the time. Anyway, continuing on, there's two chests to the left and right. Technically, I could just turn around and walk out at this point, but I might as well grab these with Cecilia. Always hit the pill bug first, because the pill bug's more likely to run away. I sponged my glasses earlier. Um, so yeah, this is working quite a bit better, and on the plus side, there's pretty much nothing on this machine. I, I basically wiped it before setting this up for streaming. Uh, and I wasn't using it for anything. By the way, if you know anybody who wants to buy a Dell XPS 15 9550, please let me know. It's the maxed out version outside of, has a half T SSD instead of a full T SSD, but otherwise 4K screen and so on. And well, this is the only use for it right now and I don't have to use it, this machine for it. This is just, just more convenient. Okay, now I can see again. That's right, I need to grab the other one of these. So we have two crest graphs here. There is another item up toward the top, but I actually need Handpan's help for it. Let's see, what did I, oh, um, is it, part of the problem is I just recorded this and it's a no, is the color off? Hold on, let me, ah, color's off on my display. But of course I'm dealing with a uh, professional grade display, so that might be part of the problem. Let me make sure that I have this set capturing properly. Um, let's see. Receiver property, output color range, bypass, HDMI bandwidth is 100%, it'll flicker for a moment. And it is set for full range. Okay. Just wanted to make sure colors weren't being dumb. It's a lot more vivid on my laptop than it is on the TV, which is weird. And brighter on my laptop. Ooh. That's a bum. That's a bum? Meat flame. Which I think they might be resistant to now that I think about it. This one might not be. It's immune to it. That's great. Do you like Spark? Um. Eh, it doesn't do much damage. Um, can't really do much with my Mystic still. Uh, Mystic will become much more useful when one, I have better items, and more importantly, two, when I actually have party members. Uh, Spark is still going to do more damage than my melee attack. That should be enough to kill it, right? Yeah, okay. So, uh, other things I want to talk about. I had a correction to something that I was saying. I did some research about it after the fact. Um, aha, here it is. Color range, full. There, that looks slightly better. Huh, I just noticed the black outline around Cecilia. Looks like some artifacting from the upscaling. That's unfortunate. Oh well. 
it should be fine. Um, so I had pronounced it Elwu. It's not Elwu. There actually is an official pronunciation. It's Elu. Basically, the W is silent from what I was saying, but I don't know where the O's are coming from. Anyway, I'm going to control Cecilia for a little bit because there is actually something I need to do, which is Crest Shop, which is over here. This is the Magic Guild. You can assemble simple magic. Try it. So we have those two new crests. Um... I will learn Berserk. Ding, ding. Rage. Sure, rage works. And we're going to learn... Analyze. Bing, bing! Alright, and I think this is the last time that we actually need to be in Surf Village. You know what? Screw it, I'm stealing this chicken. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the last time that we're in Surf Village. Also, fun fact about leaving and entering. So, you'll notice that I had to drop the chicken before leaving. That was an actual action that I took. I had to hit a button for it. Um, the reason being that you cannot carry objects through uh, traveling between zones. Now, most of the time that you're carrying objects, it's inside of a dungeon, and it makes sense. There's a doorway there, and it's like holding up this box. I hit it on the door. I kind of can't do anything about that. That makes sense. What's interesting is that the same thing happens leaving a town. And that's the only other spot that you'd be commonly carrying an object. Like a chicken. Or box. That's probably about it. Um, as a result, it just kind of looks weird. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, so there's NPCs that can appear on the map. They usually don't say much of anything. Uh, some of them will actually change what they seriously again, um, what they say based off of who's talking to them, just like other people in town did back in Surf Village. And it ran away. The game is smart enough to not tell you that you have zero XP and zero Gela though, which is interesting because a lot of games don't do that. It's that attention to detail that I like. It's not the attention. All right, so as mentioned, we needed our favorite friend, Hanpan. Right here. And that gives us a Holy Parasol. Holy Parasol is equipment for the left hand, specifically for Cecilia. What's interesting is that you don't normally get that this early. Um, again, in order to come in here, in case you didn't remember, I had to talk to this thing uh, and then give it the name of somebody who was authorized to enter. And I, somebody who's played this game many times, knew the answer to it. So, hmm, it still looks a little green to me. Uh, let me... So part of it is that this laptop has a very different color spectrum. Uh, let me change it over to cinema color really fast. Okay, yeah, now that looks more like it. Okay. Still a little more vivid, but I would expect that. My laptop screen is a much better screen than my TV. I might try um, using 60 FPS again, or 5994 FPS. Uh, when I record the next video, just just for my purposes. Anyway, now we're back in Adelaide, like we were trying to be in. So, Adelaide. That was the other thing I wanted to talk about. So, I was talking with a friend of mine um, who is watching these videos. 
best warriors also have the best equipment. Who, me? I'm just a collector. Don't mind me. Doesn't that bookshelf look a little suspicious? You must equip your weapons armor before you fight. Did you know that? Oh, this is regular item shop. We are going to be buying some things. So, when you buy an item, you're told how many you have in possession, which is nice. I'm going to make sure... Oops. I'm going to make sure that we have at least one of every satisfactory removal item. So, this cure forgetfulness. Forgetfulness means that you don't gain XP in combat, by the way. This cures bad omen, which increases your um, random encounter rate. This cures flash, which is blindness. This cures confusion, which does the same thing as every other RPG on the planet. Every other RPG on the planet. Heat solve cures paralysis, which again you don't move. Silence means that you cannot cast, it cannot use anything that uses MP. Fun fact, Rudy doesn't have MP, so silence does nothing on him. Medicine cures disease. Disease causes you to not be able to heal. Antidote cures poison, which does damage over time. And heal berry recovers 200 hit points. All right, equipment. So currently have that, currently have that, okay. There's no equipment here for me. Probably no equipment for anybody. Adelaide's equipment is pretty terrible at this point of the game. So let's go explore Adelaide. So as I was saying, um, Adelaide, the origin of the word is interesting in my mind. Um, haunted. Oh, Larry. So, um, there's two potential origins for why <clears throat> Media Vision named this town and therefore Cecilia Adelaide. One, there's the English word Adelaide. Um, it's a series, it's a chemical element series. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to look this up. Yeah, it's a organic compound, anything with CHO4? Is it C no, uh, CHO... No, it's just CHO. Um, so there, it's a carbala center with the carbon atom also bonded to a hydrogen atom, atom to an R group. It's an alkali side chain. I'm not very good when it comes to chemistry. Uh, in fact, that's the one class that I failed. And I had to name the class itself. Anyway, um, it's a form of alcohols. So it has a scientific explanation, which might be, you know, useful. Plus the ones who live for today. And that's the exit. Um, Alternately, Adelaide, as I'm pronouncing it, which is probably the correct way, I don't know. Um, busy, busy, busy. Gotta work so hard so I can go to the festival. I'm going to go to sleep now so that I can be the first person at the festival. And the festival is important. And you haven't even been told what the festival is. Um, yep, Kieran Abbey is south of Adelaide. Ah, your princess is back. My housemate's sleeping. Um, the second one, Adelaide, the way I'm pronouncing it, uh, my friend is from the Netherlands, and in Dutch, that's a reference to royalty, and that actually comes from High German. It's basically, uh, you have, and uh, there are princesses named Princess Adelaide, um, but Adelaide being their first name, not their last name. Adelaide is actually where the um, name Heidi comes from, or Adeline, or there's several others. Um, so basically, royalty, which Princess Adelaide, totally royalty. That was business. So, this is a traveling poet who's very down on his luck. I seem to remember he's down on his luck for a good chunk of the game. Yep. So here's they're talking about the earthquake that happened during Rudy's scenario. This is where all the scenarios are starting to combine together. Not just because I have all three characters. And technically right now I actually don't have a mission to do anything. So if I were to have a quest log a la Might Magic 
anything. Um, my quest log would be empty right now, other than Cecilia needs to get back to Adelaide, which she's back in Adelaide at this point. Um, here's an interesting thing. I can't push these blocks because there's a block in the way and you can't push two blocks together. If I was coming from the other side, I can get out, but I don't know where that comes from. Well, I do, but at this point in the game, we don't have no way of getting there. Princess is coming back at the start of the festival. She's been gone for almost 10 years now. She must be very beautiful. So here's something else that I found out. Um, so I had mentioned before that um, both Cecilia and Rudy were 17 years old. Um, that's apparently the American version. In the... Japanese version, she's 15 or 14, or she had just turned 15. So she's been effectively in a convent since she was five? Um, what? She's been cloistered since she was five. This makes no sense to me. Yes, you're worried about the tomb. You should be worried. <laughs> um... So, the professor here is actually very important. It is, you're cute, but my, but another has my heart. Wait a second. Hold on a moment. Man, this will be nicer when I can actually change without having to go to a save point. That happens once party merges. Um, professor Emma, she's very beautiful. Yep, so that's also what she says to Cecilia. So she has a hots for Emma. And I don't blame her. Professor Professor Emma is supposed to be regarded as very beautiful and very intelligent. We're activating the main attraction for the festival. There have been a few snags, but we're hoping to get it ready in time. Hello, welcome to Adelaide. There'll be a festival here soon. Adelaide is a great city. Also, you'll notice that this is a fairly large city for an RPG. Um, unfortunately, this is the first city in, I, I, I had mentioned last time. Um, Adel er, I lied. Um, Wild Arms 1 is the first console RPG I'd ever played. This kind of set me up for what I thought should be the case for most games. So, Cuthbert is the mayor, and Cuthbert will be important. Um, and there is a king. These are important things to know. The king funds the arts and sciences in the Kingdom of Adelaide, and the Kingdom of Adelaide is literally Adelaide. There's nothing else. Benevolent Depot, King Adelaide, all hail King Adelaide, hail, hail. Anyway, um, Hope I have enough Gela to spend at the festival. I can't wait. Oh, by the way, Gela is the currency for all of the Wild Arms series, to my knowledge. Um, I've only played 1, 2, 3 in XF, but it's the currency for 1, 2, 3 in XF. The ruins to the north, a power that fought the demons is hidden. Mm -hmm. Nice day, good weather. We all owed it to Adelaide's castle guardian, Zeldux. Zeldux is a mistranslation, if I remember right. Hold on. I... I meant to have this prepared and I forgot to. Not TV tripes, TV tropes. Ah. Why is it that whenever I'm being recorded, I can't type worth a darn? Um, part of it is that I have issues typing on this keyboard because I'm too used to this keyboard. Anyway, arms one. I could have swore Zeldukes is a mistranslation. Oh. Uh, no. That one's not a mistranslation. Potentially. Anyway. Zeldukes is actually over here. This is his statue. The Guardian of Stability. Zeldukes, Guardian of Adelaide Castle. It's a statue of Zeldukes. Isn't that nice? But yeah, this place, uh, this is a huge town for a JRPG in my mind. Um, I mean, part of it is that they're probably showing off the fact that they're using a PlayStation instead of an SNES. Or SNES, as some people call it. 
Big boxes. Big boxes can be destroyed by bombs. I can't lift them up. Officials won't tell us what's going on at the tomb. Hmm. Suspicious. Some daughters of the Adelaide family were born with the power to sense the will of the Guardians. Is the power of the Guardians fading away? Well, given that that's what the opening was saying, eh, probably. This is Adelaide Castle! We welcome everyone into our castle! This is such a friendly village. Or city. Bunch of small boxes. Ooh, power apple. Nice. And a hearty apple. Sweet. When the princess was very, still very young, she joined the abbey on her own. The royal family has its own burdens. So, apparently she, at in the Japanese version, five years old, made a decision to go join a convent for a decade. You should relax for a change. People do that, you know. You're creepy. Nobody up there. Lots of trees. This was Shining Force 2. I would see somebody over here that says, I like trees! Yep. There's somebody over there. But... Can't get there from here. But I can get there from all the way over on the left. Must have been bored to come all the way up here. I just want to know. It's a heat salt. Okay, yeah, that was kind of boring. So yeah, lots of trees. The festival that everyone is waiting for is going to be held in the East Plaza. So yeah, there's two zones to this town, by the way. Not that we can do much here right now. There will be an archaeological festival here. I can't wait. Aw, hell yeah, archaeology. Go south to leave town. Up these stairs, that's where the festival is being held. Still not ready yet. I'm bored. When's it gonna open? What happened to our advanced ancestors? Legend true? Were they destroyed by the demon race? The Ruin Festival. See, it's so happy that billboard saying Ruin Festival. Don't you agree? I've learned to appreciate these things in my old age. And yeah, we're totally going to have a festival experience. Don't worry. Just random amounts of money in barrels. What, do they think this is some type of uh, wishing well? I didn't realize I can actually come in here right now. I thought it was blocked off for some reason. So the demons have a mechanical body that's totally different from the human body. The golems are also machines. So does that mean golems are demons? Mm -hmm. That sounds like it's Skeksy. King Adelaide is really into these ancient artifacts. That's how we're able to hold this festival, because he has all the money because this is a medieval kingdom. Diablo exhibit. Danger, do not enter. There's nothing there. By the way, there's nothing at any of these exhibits right now. Barbados exhibit. Danger, do not enter. Even some of the educated inhabitants of Adelaide fear these ancient exhibits. Ooh, toy hammer. Maybe I shouldn't have bothered buying those status effect reducing items, because apparently I could just find them all here. This is a race later on. So you kind of remember, if you've ever played the beginning of Chrono Trigger, it's actually very similar in that regard to the festival. Um, main difference being that I had not played Chrono... Oh, I did not mean to exit the town. Oh well. Um, I had not played Chrono Trigger at the time. I had not played Chrono Trigger until after I had beaten Wild Arms 1. That was the point where I had decided to find out what other games were like. Uh, <clears throat> I had also, we had purchased Final Fantasy VII, uh, pre-ordered it, I should say. The big machine behind me is the Emma Motor. Still experimental, but she'll have it going soon. Then we'll have, oops, let's see the professor, she's upstairs. Strange machine, I wonder if it works. Emma's a major NPC, by the way. That's Emma. Although she doesn't look anything like that. You don't have an arm. Go away! There's something going on outside. How exciting! Listen to that commotion. I wonder what's happening. Alarm! There's been an accident at Lolith's tomb! Oh no! Tell me what's going on! We broke through the wall, damaged by the earthquake, and unleashed monsters! Some of the workers were injured by one of the monsters. 
gather anyone with military experience. No way! No one here has fought monsters before! There must- there are so many of them, you couldn't pay us enough to go in there! Hint, hint. Alright then, get to work on the repairs. You hear? I'll do something about the monsters. She actually can, oddly enough. You have a minor problem in the ruins to North random person that I've never met before. You can fight, can't you? I need to have some monsters slain. I will pay 500 Gela. Take any treasure from the tomb. Will you do it? Nah. What am I to do? I'll never be ready. Yeah, they actually let you go away. All about arms. Do you want to read it? Sure. To operate an arm, the user must synchronize with the machine completely. So arms in this universe are not just firearms. You actually synchronize it with some way? That's why the military models are fussy about who they synchronize with. There are arms that are not just military, um, but I don't think we ever see any in action. Yeah, I have heard of a good adventure, actually. I'm going to switch to Rudy and have Rudy talk to Emma first. Because Rudy actually has an arm, and that's useful. Uh, and I wanted to see if there was any difference in dialogue. I can't believe there's monsters in the tomb. We've got to do something, otherwise we'll never be done in time for the festival. Screw the festival. I am his assistant. I will upgrade your arm. So this is the way that arms end up working, is that you can upgrade them rather than, you know, buying new equipment or anything. So I can upgrade the attack power. It'll, it costs a lot of money to upgrade these. I can upgrade the hit percentage, or I can upgrade the number of bullets. Um, you can't downgrade. So once the money is spent, that's it. And there are limits as to what you can upgrade, but you can... Basically, the limits are the same regardless of what you upgrade. So if I decide I'm going to upgrade bullets over and over and over and over and over again, I can still upgrade the other two. That is not the case in Wild Arms 2, for reference. So for Hand Cannon, I'm going to upgrade the attack power because, seriously, it's so weak. Okay, it's been upgraded. Hand cannon increased by 5 attack power. And it's diminishing returns, so it costs you even more money each time that you do this. Come again, no discounts. Well, this tomb has an artifact I want. I need you to put an end to the monsters that stop me. Will you do it for 500 gala? Sure. Glad to hear it. I'll pay you after the excavation. Trust me. Oh, um, so... I should mention that Emma is actually a character in the remake, as in playable character. Uh, and Emma doesn't look like that. Emma looks like this instead. That's the official f art for Emma. And you'll notice that she has some type of weapon in her right hand. That's an arm. Emma is actually an arms user, just like Rudy. Only that is one of those guns that punch and you get a... Yeah. Anyway be waiting for you. You must get prepared. Don't underestimate Lolith's tomb. Bring friends. Hint, hint. So, at this point, you recruit party members. And in Wild Arms 1, in the original, there's only three party members in the game. What? You caused the earthquake? What do you know? Looking for help? Hmm. I could probably help. Ah, uh, no. You're not joining. Hey, you don't know what you're missing. Earthquake caused terrible chaos at the tomb? Is this Lolith's tomb you're talking about? It is? I too must go to Lolith's tomb. I'd feel safer if I could join you. I heard that you caused the earthquake. Did you? The magician wants to join you. Will you let her join? No. Okay, I'll go without you. Yeah, Cecilia is just no chill. I will just go without. I just want to see what everybody says, because usually I just skip through this. What, a monster at Lolith's tomb? Intriguing name. Why? Oh, I don't know why exactly. I do not have to go there. A desire fills my heart. The power that holds the world together told me. It said that all things start with Lolotha. Not wrong. He wants to know if you'll join him. Will you join? No. I'm sorry. The lure of the word Lolotha can be very dangerous, even deadly. I can't imagine involving you in my dangerous quest. Thanks for the thought, though. Do you know anything about Lolotha? I can't join. Interesting. Does that mean that Jack talking to Cecilia can't do anything because Rudy started it? 
Okay, so those are the same lines. My name's Jack. This is Handban. Don't worry, he won't bite. What's your name? Rudy? Huh? Oh, nice to meet you. Hi, Mr. Treasure Hunter. Find anything interesting? But now I can switch between characters and an earthquake caused terrible chaos? Blah, 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 blah. We already, I already read through this. Do, 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 do. Yes, of course I can have the magician join. I am Cecilia. Don't worry, I can hold my own with magic. May not seem like it, but I don't think our goals are so different. So the Armsmeister downstairs is supposed to be able, uh, he's supposed to be able to reload my bullets and he didn't. That's unfortunate. Um, I'm going to quickly check up on equipment here. I'm pretty sure everybody's at max. Yeah. And I still need to equip that Holy Parasol, which absorbs enemy magic as MP. So if somebody casts a spell at Cecilia, she gains MP, which is useful. I'm going to rest for, oh, I'm going to remove auto battle temporarily. Well, permanently, but yeah. Uh, rest for the night. Oh, there's the ammo reload, okay. There we go. And welcome the Adelaide in, 30 gala per night. I really like the sleep music in this game. Oh well, yeah, I can just switch between characters now without having to go to the um, repeat parrot. <laughs> and let's actually go up to the castle first. I already talked to you. Oh yeah, yes I did. I'm the daughter in question. Dang it, I hit it again. All right, let's go up to castle. So we haven't gone there yet. Notice music change also. This castle's huge, but everything in this place is huge. Until I had played Final Fantasy VII and dealt with Midgar, this was the largest town of any game I've ever played. Oops, I should keep my mouth shut. Lots of secrets in here, actually. More than a thousand years old. Adelaide Castle is a thousand years old. They never had a prequel to this game, now that I think about it. Um, Wild Arms 1 starts first, timeline-wise. Every day we cook enough to feed an army, literally. Go away, I'm flavoring the food. It takes concentration. When the princess was small, she hardly ate anything. We had to bend over backwards just to feed her. Thanks. Man, I wish I had that. So that's obviously a resting spot, which will be more useful later. What a good omen. Everything will be perfectly fine and nothing bad is going to happen at all. Ooh, another crest graph, nice. This is the reason why I wanted to investigate. I want as many spells as I can, because I actually don't know what the weaknesses of these enemies are. I might actually redo some of my crest graphs and just have every element. That doesn't sound like a terrible plan, actually. 38 minutes, okay. I had set a timer, but since I had to re-re-re-record this, I didn't reset it this time. How am I doing on time? I'm doing okay. Another email. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. World is being swallowed by chaos just as we speak. But everything will be perfectly fine. What she's like. I'm new here, so I don't know much about her. At least that's realistic. I mean, she hasn't been here in 10 years. Most of the guards are probably going to not be around for 10 years. Let's be honest here. 200 Gela. You run around quite a bit in here, by the way. Peaceful now, but you never know when a disaster might strike. A few years back, the kingdom of Artesia was destroyed overnight. Remember that opening? That second opening? That's what that is. 
Oh, actually, out of curiosity. No, yep, it's okay. <coughs> <coughs> Did not mean to hit that again. I need more to drink. Um, I was just wondering if he said anything different on different characters. That's the problem. The, the main problem with this game is that since certain people say different things with different characters, which means not only do you have to talk to every NPC three times as per standard RPG tradition, you also have to talk to, with them with each character three times. I don't bother, by the way. Let's be honest. They're going to say something unique. They're going to probably say unique to her given that she is the princess. All clear, another peaceful day in Adelaide. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Adelaide Festival is being held together by busy folks like me. The Ruins Festival, not the Adelaide Festival. It's Adelaide's Festival. Anyway. Done being pedantic for a bit. Once a night, always a night. In Adelaide, the knights can relax. It's so peaceful here. Only the royal family and their guests are allowed to pass. I am royal family. Who is this woman, Calamity Jane? I hear she has another name. Why are you talking about Calamity Jane all of a sudden? And yes, Calamity Jane is another major NPC. Um, also playable in the remake. And quite possibly one of my favorite NPCs in Wild Arms. Which is good, because... Yeah. I'll explain that much later. And this is... Calamity Jane is a name that you will hear quite a bit of. We'll put it that way. I used to have this place so memorized that I would be able to run around without looking. Most visitors to the castle seem to explore the place thoroughly. Not thoroughly enough, apparently, because I picked up a crest graph. A wish for peace will overcome any sword. The king's words speak to me. We pledge our loyalty to the king, who listens to all his subjects. Only the royal family and their guests can enter. I am royal. Walk around as much as you like, but keep cool. I don't want to arrest you. You cool, bro. Bunk. Sorry, please wait here a moment. No, it can't be. Shh. No one recognizes me. It's fun to be anonymous. You don't mind, do you? Why are you back so early? The festival isn't open yet. Well, I have no reasons. And I don't particularly want everyone to make a big deal. I've never liked crowds. I remember that. The last time I talked to you, you were a baby. Well, not baby. Toddler. Young. It's been ten years. Look how you've grown. You look just like your mother. I ain't anonymous until the start of the festival. Sorry to keep you waiting, I was like five feet away and you totally didn't hear a single thing that I said, I swear. So when they split apart like that and for a conversation, that actually means that it doesn't matter who you interact with on the king. So for instance, if I do this, oh, oh now things have changed, so. So um, if I would have walked up to the king first with everybody in my party and then uh, as somebody other than Cecilia, um, they would have still split apart and Cecilia would have walked forward. Right. Anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, it's time to head out. Let's go do some dungeon crawling. Oh, also... I believe I have some apples. Yeah. Um, yeah. Power apples. So now we can see the comparison between the characters. Jack has this highest strength. Rudy has... Actually, Jack and... Uh, yeah, Rudy has the highest... Nothing right now. That will change. Oh boy, will that change. Um, Cecilia has the highest source. Sorcery. Um, Jack's the fastest. Rudy will be the highest vitality. I don't know why Jack... Oh, because Jack's level higher. That makes sense. I probably should have been paying attention to their stats. 
so I can write up like a stat sheet for how they level up because I actually don't know how that works. So this is Lolith's gym. Are you the help Emma talked about? No. It doesn't matter as long as you can kill the monsters. I don't care. The other one. Emma's waiting for you. A lot of people around. Hmm, loot. Heal berry. Potion berry. Potion berries are better than heal berries. So, potion berries are recover a thousand hit points. At this point, uh, Jack's the only one that can actually potentially recover more than... Uh, or has more hit points to recover than what a heal berry does. So there's no reason to use potion berries right now. Treasure chest will explode if you're not careful. Mystic apple. Power apple. So I'm keeping one of everything for a reason later on. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I accidentally used too many of those. Oh, well. I'll get another power apple at some point. It's not a big deal. I'm still thinking back to the game freezing. I've never had that happen. I'm wondering if there's something wrong with my disc, and that would suck. I have the Japanese disc, but, um... Ah, ah! There's Emma. I'll talk to her later. Hey, you! That was dangerous pushing me off like that. Watch out next time, I could have been hurt in the fall! That's just to give you the idea that you can actually run off of some ledges. Oh, actually... Emma's up there, that means that the main area down here... Sorry, we can't let you through. Monsters are loose inside. Earthquakes and monsters! We're really busy! Go home! Okay, let me go talk to Emma. Oh, I'm at 47 minutes already. See, I'm trying to explain more of the game rather than just playing it, so this is going to be quite a bit longer of a playthrough than, say... I was just playing through on my own. So, walls like that can be exploded. Buckler. I believe that's Rudy's shield. Yep. But, in order to get at the other side, I need a grappling hook, which is Jack's next ability later. Three of you can probably break the seal. Past the room with the spooky demon statue lies, uh... Uh, if the three of you work together, you'll, you should be okay. You'll be fine! With confidence, one can even learn to fly. Yep, Emma's weird. Uh, we deal with Emma quite a bit more later on. You're here to slay the monsters, eh? Good luck! Thank you for coming to our rescue! See, you can see the slowdown now. All right, now we have random encounters with everybody involved. Bloop. Bloop. I'm making sure that there's no loot underneath things. Being thorough. Anyway, this is the first, I don't even want to call it real dungeon of the game, but sort of the first real dungeon of the game. This is the first dungeon of the game that you actually have to do stuff in. Oh, there's a button that toggles those purple things. Every dungeon in this game is a puzzle dungeon. It might not actually be every, but it's pretty close. I'm fighting chickens. And I got ambushed by chickens. They hurt. I'm oh, sorry, rat monkeys. But I think they're higher level versions, chicken. And they're in two groups, one and two. Thanks, game. Um, attack the one, attack the one, spark the two. Yeah. Well, they have fewer than 70 hit points. Maybe I should analyze one. 
Well, that was a waste. I would have realized I would have been that weak and wouldn't have bothered. And everybody is together now! Yay! Oh, that reminds- oh, it actually is interior only, okay. That reminds me. Um... 186, 174. So Judy, uh, Rudy actually has more XP and is lower level. And Cecilia has even more XP and is much lower level. Interesting. So Rudy will level up at 210. He'll next level up at 260, and she'll next level up at 230. So yeah, Jack really is going to be one level higher. So this is an exploding chest, by the way. They are yellow. The best way of handling them is to use handpan. Because handpan's immortal. Handpan's the best. Hell yeah, handpan. So this is basically to show you, yes, you should change between characters to be able to do stuff. That's not suspicious at all. I'm gonna jump down. Hit that button. That's a bum. So, let's analyze them. Find out what's what they're made of. That's a bum. Level two. Nine out of seventy hit points. No MP. Weakness is water. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, I forgot to use my grass graphs, didn't I? Maybe I'll run back. That's not a terrible idea because I'm going to be hitting an hour somewhat soon. Flame dog! They used magic on me. Meanie heads. Eh, just attack. Flame tongue. Critical hit. So I can kill I can one shot him as a crit. But not as a single hit. Mm, they drop heal berries, that's good to know. Um, but as a single hit, I can only take them out with any two. I'm going to head back because I'm running low on time for this recording, and more importantly, I might as well fill those grass graphs. <laughs> Splat. He's so much better when she has better sorcery. By the way, I'm gonna have a crap ton of heal berries in this game. Just thought I would mention. Oh, um, I had not mentioned yet. Maximum hit points is not, in fact, 9 9 or 9 9 9, as you may have surmised by the fact that I already have a healing item that heals 1,000 hit points. Max hit points is 9 9 9 9 in this game. Max stat, I believe, is 9 9 9, I wanna say. Let's fill up those grass grafts. Heal, save, and then I will save the rest of the dungeon for the next video. Please rename this spell Break. Bind, black. We'll go with water. 
And I'll remove rage and create the last element that I'm missing. Boron. Sorry. Rage will be dissolved in two elements. Yep. So basically you could rewrite crest graphs as much as you want, which is glorious. There we go. Now I have every element. Vortex. So. So I can arrange these however I want. And what I like doing to arrange them is that I like having them like that. The reason being is that I like having, okay, these are the regular four elements. And then I have group spells, and then underneath I will also have, um, what should we call it? Uh, enchantment spells, which is later. Let's go ahead and heal and, or sleep. And then I will save and pick this up next time. I know that nothing really progressed in this case other than we started a dungeon. The next video will be a lot more of the dungeon. I've just been talking too much. Hope you've enjoyed this internet. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm already full on ammo. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I will talk to you next time. Uh, just need to save, and there we go. Bye!